thanks for tuning in today guys um i know i look a little different than what i normally do <laughs> i am coming from church right now but i did just want to film a video because it's mid-november and my ipsy bag is here and i did not want to forget to let you guys know what's in my glam bag this month um if you don't know what an ipsy bag is or ipsy bag an ipsy glam bag is you can check out one of my previous videos and it will tell you everything you need to know about ipsy and i will leave a link below if you are interested in subscribing to the ipsy family um if you're new here also don't hesitate to click the subscribe button and turn the bell on for notifications so that you can stay up to date on all of my latest videos and i'm just gonna hop right on into what is in this glam bag all right Right off the top, I see that there's some sheet masks in here, which I am here for. Skincare is important. Um, they're from the brand Timeless Beauty Bar. First one is Glam and Glow. It's super cute packaging. It says right on there, it benefits its radiant, radiance boosting. It even skin tone, it's energizing. It will leave you feeling cool, fresh, and vibrant. It's best for a night out. It's brightening and revitalizing. I think that's cute that it like, you know, gives you that little info right on there. And the second one is a hydrating and refreshing mask. It's called Up in the Clouds. This one says it will leave you feeling cool, fresh, and luxurious. And it's best for frequent flyers. And its benefits include um, intensely hydrating, rejuvenating, plumping, and nourishing. That one looks like this. I'm going to... I feel like I, I hope they're good, but I have combination dry skin, so I'm always looking for something that, you know, nice and hydrating. This month's glam bag looks like this. It is kind of like an indigo and black. Very cute. First off in there, we have this Juice Beauty Phyto Pigment Illuminating Primer. The color number one, Luminous. Looks like this. It's a cruelty-free brand. Um, I think I've used something by them before. I just can't remember what it is, but I definitely think the brand has popped up in my glam bag before. But um, I like primers, you know, so I'll give this a try and see if it can, you know, stand up with some of my Holy Grail primers. Next, I have this Ink Velvet Lip Tint um, in the color number nine, Love Sniper Red. This packaging, y'all, it's like a little bag. It's so cute. It's so cute. I don't even know what the right way to open it is. There's so many different. Okay, well, let's see what we got. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. It's like a little dropper. Is that how I'm supposed to? Let's see. This looks like a really nice fall color. I'm definitely here for the reds. It kind of looks a little bit, a little bit brighter maybe than the Diva, the Max Diva color. So I'm definitely, I'll let y'all know how this works. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see because I update that pretty frequently with my different makeup looks. Um, oh gosh, my whole bag came out. Anybody else like to like repackage things perfectly after you open them? That's me. Like I don't like to ruin the packaging. I want it to like be restored. Okay. All right. Next we have this Tarte um, Amazonian Clay Blush. Ooh, I think that I like Tarte blushes. I have a few already, so I think that this is going to be a winner. In the color Quirky. It's like a neutral looking color. Um, I hope I like it. I don't really know. It looks like this. If anything, I will find a use for it because I always find a use for makeup products that I, <laughs> if it doesn't match my skin tone or what have you, trust me, I'll figure it out. But I do love Tarte and I like their blushes. So I'm gonna give it, at least I'm gonna give it a whirl. I'm gonna at least give it a try. Um, whoops. I am, I also have this Hello Beauty eyeshadow cream to powder in the color Pinkies Up. So, let's see what this looks like. This looks super snug. I don't even think I can 
Lord have mercy. Oh, geez, finally. All right, so. This is like, come on. Now I got it open. The thing is like, oh, when nothing's happening. So the struggles of life. Oh my gosh. All right. Looks like this. And this is like a nude with some, it has like some iridescent glitter pieces inside. I'm seeing if it swatches easily. But I don't want to get glitter all over myself. Looks like this. I don't know if that's helpful. I don't know if the camera's gonna really do it justice, but it looks like a pretty color. Um, can't wait to try it. I'm here for eyeshadows and it's really creamy. The formula on this feels really, really nice. So even though it was like a war trying to get it out of this packaging, and I'm gonna put it right back in because I'm just like that. I'll have to struggle again when I wanna try it. I don't know. Um, and then I think that's it. That is all I have in this month's glam bag. The little info card was inside. It says, Happy Friendsgiving. Um, I'm not going to read the details, but that's what it says on the front. It looks like this. But yeah, that is what that is what is in this month's glam bag. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to drop a comment down below letting me know what you think of all these products if you've tried some of them before and also don't forget that i have a viewers choice video coming up so please please let me know what type of video you'd like to see me do next you can leave that in the comments below or you can send me a message on one of my social media accounts but um again thanks for watching and until next time bye guys